This is Mike with the 21 Report behind the scenes in Orlando, Florida for the 21 Convention 10 year anniversary event. I'm sitting alongside Zan Perion. Zan, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, sir. It's great having you here, Zan. Um, so before we get into some questions, could you give the guys watching a brief overview of your talk? Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Um, I, basically, I went on stage and I was kind of hemming and hawing because I didn't have a prepared speech. And I think I was, well, the only thing I was trying to, to describe on the stage was the kind of things that I'm trying to understand for myself right now, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to explore concepts that, I, that, I, that I'm fascinated about, but I, but I don't have fully shaped or formed. And I don't know if I did that or if I was successful, but I didn't have a nice, you know, cut and dried mm -hmm. speech lined up and uh, yeah so that's what I did so in your talk you mentioned um, about your masculine edge your dark side mm -hmm. how can a man develop what you call his masculine edge or dark force well that's a good question because we all have it we have that since we we're born we have this 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 beautiful uh, dangerous uh, dark uh, masculine sexual energy we suppress it all our lives. So it's not like we have to develop this. Mm -hmm. It's like we have to, to reject this concept that it's toxic or that it's, it's a bad thing that you know, society and media perpetuates upon men. That you have a sexual nature to, to desire to thrust and to penetrate into the world, which we had since we were little boys. And, and, and to, to not buy into the fact that that is, a, or, 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 or the, the concept that is out there, that it's a bad thing or it's shameful, we're shameful of our sexual nature. So it isn't developing it, it's uncovering it, not apologizing for it, but at the same time having full respect, full empathy, full charm, full um, kindness, so that you're not this aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, energetic yeah. uh, yeah. creep, basically. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned kindness and mm -hmm. charm. What's the difference between being a nice guy and being what you're calling is Charming. Well, the nice guy has, has, you know, concentrates on trying to be interesting, funny, uh, talk, rapport, all this kind of stuff. And there's nothing energetically from, his, from, his, from his, his center of gravity that goes down into the world. Like, that is completely mm -hmm. suppressed and cut off. So he's all upper energy. He's top heavy. He flinches if a girl says, oh, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, and, and there's nothing grounding. There's no... There's, I say it again, there's no penetrative force. And it's necessary, and modern man is all upper in, you know, energy. They lead from their heads. Hi, would you like to see me again? And nice talking to you, can I buy you a drink? And, and there's nothing that comes from that great uh, uh, center. I don't know how to, it's hard to describe because I'm mm -hmm. talking about vibration. Mm -hmm. And I wrote an entire book about the vibration, really, and, and, and the energy, and energy sounds so woo-woo, but it is exactly the, the it's, it's, it's consciously projected mm -hmm. toward women. Mm -hmm. So you spent your whole life, almost dedicated your life to understanding women. Yeah, I did. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I just adore women, mm -hmm. and I've adored women forever, even though I've been rejected in all my, you know, my youth. My 20s was like just a blur of just massive insecurity and not being included and wishing and wondering what I did wrong and uh, but I never gave up you know I never mm -hmm. gave up I've adored women since forever and I love and, and this you know I'm not saying that women are, are I don't put women on a pedestal I don't put a woman on a pedestal mm -hmm. but I put the female spirit on a pedestal that is a saving grace that's a that is something that is rare missing just like the masculine grace is missing mm -hmm. So, but the feminine spirit, you know, that to me is like, is I just adore that to, to, to bathe in the redemptive qualities of what true feminine spirit has for man. And it, and it inspires man. We can go out and we can build the Taj Mahal, we can go, you know, fight wars, we can do all that kind of stuff because we have the inspiration of feminine grace behind us. And in this modern age, that's gone. Mm. So, what's next? Zan Perion, what have you got in the works? I'm trying to write a second book. Okay. And I said on the stage, I'm, I'm not blocked because I know what I'm trying to create. I just don't know how to, um, I'm missing something. 
I'm missing some kind of understanding to know how to form this. And so I, I, I sit, I, I lay awake at night, day and night is all I think about. It's like I want to try and, like my first book, you know, it, it was, it's a labor of love, it took me 10 years to write, Alabasta Girl. <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and I, intellectually, I know I created, or I, I did what I set out to do. Mm -hmm. But the next book has me fascinated. I'm like, wait a minute, there's something else here that I, and I can't quite, so to answer your question, I'm trying to write a second book and I'm fighting for it day and night, that's all I know. So it's still, still in the works, yeah, still yeah. trying to figure that out. Something's cooking and I don't, know how, I, don't know, I don't know how to finish the cooking. Cool, so Zan, this has been your second time speaking yes. at the 21 convention. How has this event compared to last year's event in 2016? Oh, you know, well, there's a bigger crowd here, and I think there's a more vibrancy here, and I'm not sure what it is. Like, it was quieter last, last okay. year, I think. And this year, the guys are much more um, engaged, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. And the speakers are much more coming together and engaged. If, I don't know, there's something, there's something living in this, in this one that, that uh, uh, I'm not saying the last one wasn't, but there's something there's something, uh, uh, there's some vibrancy which bodes well for the future. Mm. You know, I don't know how to say it. Awesome, so if the people watching want to learn more about you, more about your work, where's the best place they can go? Well, um, arzamarada.com, my company, my philosophy is called Ars Amarada, A-R-S-A-M-O-R-A-T-A, -A -A, and it's fake Latin for the art of love, Ars Amarada. Um, Zamparian.com is my website, and uh, and for a limited time, I have um, on alabastagirl.com, which is where I, I give my book away for free, pay for shipping only, and I've only got a thousand copies left <laughs> out of the two thousand I printed. But I signed them and sent them from Romania, and as long as I've got those thousand left, um, then I'll uh, you can go to alabastagirl.com and put your name and address, and I'll send you a book. Brilliant. So with that said, um, you can now see Zan's talk first on 21university.com or by clicking the link underneath this video. Um, Zan, thanks once again for uh, being with us. We thanks really appreciate it. Um, so that's been Mike with Zan Perion signing off for the 21 Report. Thank you. Thanks, guys.